back at it. Just can't leave well enough alone. <sighs> got online, got some parts. I think this entire cover plate dingus was $18, including shipping-ish. So there's the band. That fixes that problem. <sighs> well, if you watched the last video, there's the Sparkalator 9000. <sighs> And I don't know why I didn't think of this before. You don't need the piston on there at all either. That got removed after I made the video because I was like, why have the extra resistance of the effort of pushing the piston up and down? You don't need it. So I took that off. And uh, it's lighter, but of course you can't win because then what happens is you put the drill on it and now the thing wants to tip over because it doesn't have any weight. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. But anyways, it doesn't matter. It still works just fine. But if I had had that, I would have been able to test better. I don't know. Maybe it... I had a suggestion to cook the uh, coil, which I did. But maybe it took a little longer than I thought to drive the moisture out. Because now that I have a new plug whoop, in there, and the old coil, even after I ordered a replacement coil that I found used on eBay, we're going to test this, though. And if it's still good, that's going to be for sale. Anybody needs one, it's going on eBay. Oh, yeah. Anywho, uh, I can't leave well enough alone. I, I mean, I know it has a good spark. I can see it now. Uh, no problem with spark. Uh, so the only thing left is carburation. I'm going to take that apart and look. The final thing would be if the timing's off. And the only way the timing could be off is if, and I didn't see it happen, if the... Uh, key came off the flywheel because I had the nut off a number of times. I don't think I ever got the flywheel loose, but if it did and that came off and I wasn't paying close enough attention, then it's not on the shaft in the right spot. So you can spin it all you want. It's not going to be sparking at the right time. So probably not that. I'm going to look and see just to see, but I bet you I simply have to take this carburetor off, do a better job of, uh, cleaning it and possibly rebuilding it. I think the, I wasn't sure what carburetor it had because I would have already had the parts here. And thank you, post office. Oh my God. Stuff took three and a half weeks to get here because COVID and holidays. But anyway, little parts are here. So it's back at the Eagle Beaver. I believe it'll come back to life just fine. And I may keep this little fella. I actually like the, you heard me say before, if you watched the other video, I kind of like the design on it. It's all metal case, so it's a little stronger. I mean, it's not for big stuff, but um, it does have a couple of little spikes for grabbing, and they're not plastic. So I think it'd be great for uh, pruning and small jobs and whatnot, but I'm getting an all electric chainsaw here shortly. And, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not, but I'm at least going to get it started and running and play with it. All right, let's tear into it.
when to leave well enough alone we're back on the mccullough it's nighttime. ah i couldn't leave well enough alone we're gonna see though everything should be set full of fuel full of oil has a chain break now let's give it a few pulls if it pops off i'll i'll be ecstatic and then ashamed of myself that i gave up before Well, that's about perfect. Negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> well, the only thing left to do, pull the starter off again, put a second nut on it, get it on a vise, and, uh, 
try to start it with a motor. My arm's giving up. I'll have to see how I can arrange that because I'm not starting it in my basement. I don't have a vice outside. I'll figure out something. Well, I never was smart enough to quit. <clears throat> I got a new coil. I put it in there. It's definitely got a stronger spark. Uh, let's see what happens. Of course, I did it the easy way. I double nutted on from the Sparkulator 9000. I double nutted on that nut so I can hit it with the old drill here. See if we can get it to go. <laughs> uh oh. Well, that wasn't on there too good, was it? Hmm. Redo. Take two. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't have my earphones on. Come on, Bessie. Oh, well, I may have to put the recoil starter back on it. Uh, just take 11,468. Nothing. Nothing. I think this thing is the devil. I don't believe it's capable of starting. Nope. What else is left? It's rotten. Beast of a chainsaw. Check the spark for the 468,000th time with a new coil, mind. Big, bright, greasy spark. Did you see it? What's the problem? <laughs> I don't know. Carburetor's been gone through. I really am at my wits end with this thing. I'm giving up. Put it on its recommended start spot again. Nothing. Nothing. Huh. Well, I think we're about to give up on her. Hmm. Somebody call it. Time of death. Ugh, <laughs> oh, I fought hard. Finally, after all that, I determined it had low compression. <laughs> you know, a guy gets so lucky, so many in a row, you get complacent and you don't test. The most basic thing before you spend a whole lot of time and potentially money. I didn't spend a lot of money, but I spent more than I ever usually spend on these little things. So I decided in anger that I would take it apart to its constituent atoms. So let's proceed. I haven't had it, I haven't had it officially the piston out yet, but maybe the rings are screwed up. <clears throat> I 
don't know. And I kind of don't care anymore. This is a complete saw. Everything's here. The coil's good and tested. There's video of the new coil working. Carburetor's fine. All the gaskets are good. It's all clean. It's all good parts. I guess I'll turn around and part it out on eBay. But I have determined that the motor is pooched. Oh God, it's gonna happen. Oh, it's happening. Oh, what will we see in the treasure house? Oh, oh, oh. Here she comes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What's that gack? I don't know, but it was in there. Oh, would you look at that? Well, there's your problem, son. Now, here's the question. Well, in case it wasn't obvious, there's all kinds of scoring here. That's eaten almost down into the ring. So that is all scored up. Something got in there, I think. Or this could be a case of genius running it on regular gas. Don't know. Don't know. But, oh yeah, there's definitely, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? There's definitely a score mark in there. Hold on. Let me get your flashlight. Probably be too bright. Hmm. No, no, it's not. Now, can you see? Yeah. I can't get it lined up so you can see it very good. But anyway, right at that ridge, maybe you can see it. Right at that ridge, it's all scored up. You can feel it with your finger. No doubts. That, sir, is not going to seal up again. That's what I get. I didn't test the compression because I've never had that problem on one of these small engines before. But that definitely would not start in that condition. There you have it. Now the question is, do I even, do I just, should I just give up? Or do I check on eBay? For the main body of the saw. God. Please no. I should stop. I should really stop and sell it for parts. <sighs> Anywho. At least we got to the bottom of it. Too bad it was after two days of farting around with it. And uh, two videos. But you know you can't win them all. It's fun to take it apart and see what's going on. I would call that a definitive answer that is done for. Boop. Look what the mailman brought. Uh -huh. What do we have here? I'll tell ya. Eager Beaver. Eager Beaver Piston. One that actually clearly, the guy said he measured at 140 PSI, but I can feel it. It has compression. Oh, so, here's our giant box of parts. Back to the drawing board on the Eager Beaver. I am about sick of this chainsaw. Hopefully this is the last time.
Okay. What a pain in the pickle. That better be it. I am so sick of this eager beaver. I want it to be the most awesome saw ever. It's all back together. I know everything in there works. It's got a break. It's got a spark. Oh, my God. Last thing to do is fuel it up, fire it up, and get it tuned. Uh, here we go again, Eagle Beaver. Why do I feel like we've done this a hundred times? Oh, because we have, but it's because of my own stupidity. Uh. Give up, oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't set the gim gim. Uh, seems about right. I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 finally. Oh, sweet mother. Finally. Give it a half a turn leaner. see that uh, the piece I got the muffler that it's coming off I have to fix that the spark arrestor plate or whatever <sighs> it's easy to deal with but last minute thing Let's see what happens Turning the idle speed up with the world's tiniest screwdriver. Chicken dinner. Happy. I see one of the screws here. I'll try to find the other one, but that's easy. Just got to take off the uh, tightener plate, clutch plate over there. Perfect. Finally. Thanks for watching. One last look to burn the gas out of it. The old McCullough Eager Beaver spark arrestor is back in place, so it's fully operational. If there's enough gas in it, that is, which I don't know. It's probably warm enough to just try it without choke.
she's out of gas. All right. Beautiful. Eagle Beaver done.